All right, so bear with me, guys. I'm not in the studio. I kind of just had a quick point in the street. But I wanted to discuss some of the things that the Tesla robot is lacking, right? Where is its current status? What is its use, use case at this very moment? And I wanted to really dive into some of the technical aspects of that and see where this product falls in the market right now. And I want to go ahead and start off by bursting the bubble. Right now, I don't feel that the, the robot is very useful. I think it's super cool. I think the advancements that they've made and technology that they have, extremely powerful and, and it's definitely revolutionary. Now, go watch some of my other videos where I talk about some technology and some of the advantages of why this robot is going to be a game changer. But the thing I want to call out now is the current status. And the one reason why I say it's not super useful in the marketplace is the speed at which it operates. So there's going to be a couple factors that really limit what the, the robot's capability is. Same with like a traditional robot that's behind me right now. It has uh, certain capabilities. So some of the things we'll look at is reach, payload, speed, aka cycle time, so its ability to uh, move from one location to another, and there's also the software side of things. Now, when it comes to a traditional robot like this one behind me, it's extremely fast at the program execution. It is very immediate, right? It's operating in milliseconds of time, whereas utilizing AI the way that Tesla is, I think it's the way to go. Don't get me wrong. However, right now, you can tell that it's not calculating quickly enough and also not able to change the operating enough. So the AI is going to take a lot more time to process, right? And so let's say for instance, when we do like a vision inspection or a vision location, just right, you go to acquire an image and then you have to, then you have to calculate uh, the data of that image, right? What its position is to the real world, right? Or maybe it, in this case, it's to the Tesla robot limb, right? So it's going to take an image from that image, it knows where its limbs are located at in space. It should be able to get like a depth perception on whatever the object is. So that way it can reach for it, right? But that calculation is going to take time. And also the run with the video too. So it's not just one picture, then then collect the data of the picture. However, they probably are doing something similar to that. So even though they are doing video, out of that video they're taking, they're probably taking a snippet of that video, doing the calculation, and then you know, being able to calculate what the distance is away, right? But all this is going to take time to calculate. So there's a lot more time that needs to go into the computing of the system for it to be very usable. Now, for at-home tasks, for maybe like switching over laundry or getting you coffee, maybe it's not that big of a deal. Cycle time, it's compute time, uh, you know, that's hollow. But whenever it goes to like a manufacturing setting, that's not going to be hollow, right? You can't have somebody picking something up and setting it down and picking it up, setting it down. Uh, really no matter what the cost is, you know, because in that case, uh, if you compare it to a human's speed of operation, it's going to be like, you know, 10% of the speed of human, right? A human can move pretty quickly. So that's one major thing. The next thing is payload. A lot of times, you know, for a human's payload, we're not supposed to pick up very much or move very heavy products. But this robot would definitely be limited in payload, especially at first. And I think they'll come out with iterations that, that have higher payloads. But I know Tesla's going to come out with a product that uh, it's going to serve the mass population first, right? It's going to serve the mass amount of requirements that are in the market. So it's going to take them some time to develop another robot that has a higher payload. I'm not exactly positive what the mention of payload is, but, uh, you know, like let's say, for instance, in the automation sector, you, we have collaborative robots like Universal Robot. We have Fanuc CRX robots. And these are traditional robots like the one you see behind me, uh, but they're a collaborative version of that, right? So they can work with humans in a human environment. And those robots have limitations in comparison to a traditional robot. So this is uh, something that has to be taken into consideration when it comes to being able to utilize this robot in a manufacturing type of setting. But so you're going to have the payload, you're going to have the, the physical speed, you're going to have the AI calculation, and then the next thing is dexterity, right? The ability to, to manipulate something with your finger, just say a wire, right? If you're holding a wire in your hand, you're putting it inside of something, that dexterity with your hands, one, just being able to manipulate your fingers in, 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 a, in a way uh, that is highly dexterous, I'll say, uh, and also being able to get feedback on that, right? So that you can feel so there's the mechanical output of what your fingers can bend and do, and then there's also the input of what your mind can sense is going on. So if you think about closing your eyes and grabbing something and holding it, that's essentially what the robot has to be able to do. Now, it can use its vision too. It can hold something in its hand and, and do a vision calculation of where this thing is physically located at in my hand, but it's also going to need to build out the dexterity and build out the ability to 
fill things with its fingers in order to be able to do what things can do. Now, check out our playlist. Subscribe for more of these uh, Tesla robot type of videos because we're going to be we're going to be covering this topic very heavily. Uh, this is just one of many many videos that have become, and we're going to follow this. Uh, Tesla robot over time since we're an automation company we do uh, manufacturing automation it's something that is, is very close to us and it's part of our business model bringing humans one more time catch you on the next one